Hello, I am Vega, the sentient intelligence assigned to Mars. After running diagnostics on the Praetor suit, it appears that I can activate optional challenges that when completed will assist in upgrading your arsenal at an accelerated pace. I have added a tracking component to your dossier. Yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, hello everybody, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Doom 2016. From where we last left off, we've we've got out of the operating table and killed some of the demons of hell. And now we're going to turn further to see what's up. Oh no, yeah, before I go any further, let's just check on the settings. Uh, I better turn the subtitles on. Which is what I should have done in the beginning. Now let's see what we've got here. Oh yeah, you can change the campaign difficulty if you want to. Say, start off with Hurt Me Plenty. And then, oh yeah, there's a classic weapon pose that you remember from Doom and Doom 2 and in Doom 64. I'm gonna keep the boss level, as hell far as it is. Mind you, I think I could change the difficulty in case if things get too rough. The one thing I would, didn't intend to do in classic Doom during the gameplay. Oh, huh. Let's see, a Vega one. I'm not sure if I have time to read the rest. Oh, there's some field drones. But different to like the probe droids that we saw in you remember you remember you may remember from Star Wars. Offline. All entrances not operational. Oh look who I got here because I possessed running wild Like I said, they're basically just through, like zombies. So the people being like experimented on. Oh, I was like, like what Zack then would say, I am not a scientist. Yes, yeah, I'm the voice of Zack in the Bionic Cognition Trilogy of Vandal. What? Get out of here, you! I'm not talking about you! And I was saying, ah! Yeah, he didn't see that one coming. Main power offline. All entrances not operational. Yeah, mind you, I hope that I will keep blowing the barrels up until the. I mean, I'll keep doing this to those demons until they learn not to go near barrels. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, low power. Main power, offline. All entrances, not operational. Okay, weapon upgrade points. Ah, yeah, you can upgrade your weapons from it if you want to. Yeah, it says weapon upgrade point gain. Mind you, it's very vital because we need to find some field drones here to upgrade our weapons. You know, just give them a bit of chance to get away. See, go to Arsenal. Let's see what we got. Charge burst? Well, I kind of got that already. Let's see what we've got here. Reduce the recharge time between bursts. Let's see here. I don't know if I've got time to don't want to waste those valuable points. There's a dish. I Something believe I in eat honesty. That. Especially now. In what will be your final moments in this world? All the rumors, the human sacrifices, the hell portal, the demons, it's all true. My sisters and brothers be thankful. You will be the first. You will have a seat alongside them just as I will in what will become the new world that they create for us, starting now. Yeah, She's like the main villain of this this game. But to be honest, 
The way she sounds kind of reminds me of like Connie Beecham from Casualty. Speaking of which, I've watched, I've recently watched an episode where, where a paramedic, a paramedic son was admitted to hospital for, was admitted to hospital to have like surgery done on his brain because he has like a, a tumor, you know, like a form of cancer. And mind you, I've seen what, mind you, at least I saw what the cancer cell looked like from the outside. But I know when the surgeons discover went deeper into his brain, they discovered like an additional tumor. Bit of a spoiler alert for those of you who haven't seen it. Actually, they decided to not continue f continue on with this because. Hello. I believe in honesty, especially now, in what will be your final moments in this world. Okay, let's. I believe in honesty, especially in what will be your final moments in this world. Brothers, be thankful. You will be the first. You will have a seat alongside them, just as I will. From the new world, Like what we saw in the cabins in Doom 3, the floors would just give way. I believe in honesty, especially now. And oh, yeah, let's see here, let's see here. Here we are, classic weapon pose. There we are, this, this gives you like it was like in the old Doom game. Let's see what the pistol looks like. <laughs> it reminds me when I was on Doom on the PlayStation. The, the PlayStation the <laughs> Mind you, if you want them more regular, like you were on Doom 3, so you can go back to where I was before. Yeah, I better let them come to me. Oh, then again. Ah, oh, what's he doing? Wait for it. Fine, I'll come down here myself. Especially well, that didn't work out the way I wanted it, sir. Wait, did he just... Get back down there! Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah. Oh, what just happened? I thought I... It's a... Oh, come on. Well, at least this was my... At least the floor didn't give way. It's like I remember in Doom 3 when I did my original Let's Play of it on the Xbox. Or was it my Wii Let's Play in the BFG edition? I believe in And I've also watched another episode of Casualty where, where, where Ruby's sister was in hospital after taking an, like, an overdose. Especially now. I still remember. Uh, I don't know how it's, uh, it's quite sad though, really. I know. So sad if you've seen that episode. And again, spoiler alert. Anyway, let's get rid of the stress while we're at it. Anyway, I couldn't do anything to avoid that. So let's just try this again. And then let's just okay. Why don't we just switch back to the regular pose, shall we? Okay, I need to figure out what just happened. Oh, yeah, I am I'll go right there. I 
especially now. And what will be your final Hmm. This is where I need to go. Oh, great, is what we needed. More flaming zombies. My sisters and brothers be thankful. Possessed engineer. Oh, yeah, he's the one. Like, now, the possessed engineers, they are kind of like, you know, have these barrels attached to them. They're kind of like, you know, suicide bombers, for instance. They're like the suicide bombers from like terrorist terrorist groups. Ah, oh, great, them again. Hmm, I, don't know, I don't know if I have to wait until the thing is like nearly that one. Wait for it, and... Oh, even they didn't see that coming. Oh yeah, when your health's really low, you have to find medkits around here. You get some help from killing your demons as well. Anyway, you still need to focus on killing them. As always, like I remember. You can, you know, you know, like, for example, in Turok on the PS3 and in House of the Head. Oh no, you don't! No, no wall climbing for you! I've had enough of, I've seen enough episodes of wall, wall climbing since I can do three. Demand presence eliminated. Lockdown oh. disengaged. Well, that cost me my, my armor. So it's here. Oh, it's like little files with the environment and all sorts of things. They're called UAC files. Okay, I'm not going down there. And I need to find more, uh, more ammo. Whoa. Ah, there's some. Hello, what's that here? Oh, that's... Oh, it's a chainsaw. Classic weapon from all of Doom. Oh, sorry. To take on new challenges, to become more than you ever dreamed you could be, yeah. talk to your supervisor to see if you meet the requirements for this year's Soul Harvest. There we are. That's a weapon you know from the classic Doom, but the only problem here is it's it's now powered by fuel, you know, like gas. I kind of prefer the chain, doing the regular chainsaws and. Uh, shame I can't kill demons like what I used to do with the chainsaw in the old Doom games. The UAC, they have them with the pinkies the and the demons. Can oh, that's pretty good. They thought that one as well. Who's looking at a little train in here? Okay, now all we have to do is find the yellow key. I mean, finding them is no problem, but it's how to get there is the problem. Yeah. I have to say that for when I need it. Okay. What the? Talk to I felt something like a heartbeat in my controller. But I'm not gonna do that because, like I said, it's gonna waste valuable time. And okay, we can't go in there. Let's find another way to get that key. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, I have to avoid them lasers again. I'll explain a bit more about that. Not long. Now, let's see. Oh, 
Not... Okay, I'm now on the right track. Yeah, how do I crouch? No, I don't need that. I need to figure out a way how to crouch. Oh yeah, I press the circle button to crouch. <laughs> it's been a while since I've played this. Okay, I've got plenty of help right here. Don't need to avoid them lasers. Let's see, how do I get the chainsaw out again? Oh yeah. This is how you use the chainsaw in this game. Different to all you remember you doing in the old games. In Doom 3. Wait, except this time around it's powered by fuel. I think that they're making it much tougher with the chainsaw. Don't you just hate it when they make things even harder? Oh, yeah, the board next again that we saw in the beginning of this. Better take care of the possessed first. Don't want them getting in the way. Demonic presence at top safe level. Lockdown. Anything. Oh yeah, one thing you didn't notice here in this game is it has a lockdown thing. You know like when there's something dangerous happening and then you put the, the whole place on lockdown. I think I remember the lockdown before, like remember in Codename Kids Next Door where if our Count Spankulog was in the treehouse. <laughs> Mind you, I could save that for when I needed it. I mean, why did I have to go and waste that? Well, since I've destroyed the nest, it's some more of those demons to get me. I mean, this is it's kind of like, you know, like you know just drawing a wasp mess. Even the possessed <laughs> oh, didn't learn not to go yeah battles. Oh no you don't buddy I had never be a small problem you've seen I wonder what this will be like in Doom Eternal. Oh. Oh, okay, now we've got the possession again on our case. Time to get my chainsaw out. Uh, okay, I've used the. Oh yeah, I think I remember in, like in the Doom Three review from like General Lotter's review of Doom Three, where he was trying to get the chainsaw working, and his dad was like, "Is he got gas in it?" And he was like, "Yeah." Hello, what's he going? Oh. He's oh, that's called the elevator. I fight if we want to get the yellow key. It's kind of like that in James Bond, Age of Number Fire, when I was trying to sneak. I was trying to sneak up in the embassy. With, you know, with the dark gun. Except there's no elevator music this time round. 
Like, mm, dun, dun, dun. There we are, the yellow scepter. There we are, I think that guy's got something we need. Okay, let's see here. I'll get that, my shotgun. Now let's take a look. Let's see here. Yeah, I think I know what to do. Oh yeah, I got two much for my shotgun. There he is. He's got what we needed. The yellow key. Whoa, God! That was a real jump scare. You're grabbing something from a dead person and then they come at you as a zombie. Even horror movie professionals would come up with something like that. Hello. Nice try, buddy. I've fallen for your tricks before. Hello. Welcome to the UEC's Mars. Oh, Galax, no, who's looking at the ass? This high tech mining and research facility is a lot of the imagination each and every day. As a valued employee, your loyalty is more than a little help today. It's a commitment to the initial diagnostic session. I basically would generate a health plan. You know, it's kind of like, for example, the health stations we saw in Doom 3 where you inject your health one by one. Like, this would be the best possible treatment. Let's see, oh, that dead marine's got a heavy assault weapon. It's almost like the machine gun that we saw in Doom 3. In fact, it's like, it's like a smaller version of the chain gun. All UAC employees are subject to regular med checks to ensure their production capabilities are not degraded. Oh yeah. There we are, getting outside on Mars. How to fire them? No. Ah, there's some, there's some fuel for the chainsaw. Oh yeah. I kind of like killing Jesus with a chainsaw in the old fashioned way. You know, like in London, in the Doom and Doom 2. Oh! The Berserk! Right over there. Wanna see how it works in this? Too much more than saw in Doom 3 and all that. Mind you, I could say. Sometimes I would say that for later. In the last, in the last part of the fight. Oh, I think mean, Jason Paul used to fight like that. When someone's heading half like that. Oh, great, which is what we got here. Possessed dudes with riot shields. Now, hopefully, I'll show you the tactic. I'm meant to show you off in Doom 3. Let's see if I can find him. Where is he? Ah, there he is, right here. Oh, great. Oh, well, it nearly worked. Take, take, take care of the infrared before taking on the right field guy. The right field guy. And he's basically armed with a shotgun.
area. Normally I would go behind his back. Is that security? Oh yes. Got these plasma like riot shields. I know tactic on dealing with riot shield enemies. Where you, you have to you go behind their back. Because it's impossible to kill them with the, the front end when they're on these riot shields. And you have to go behind their back, it's like kind of like what I remember I remember doing in Call of Duty. You're playing against your friends on like multiplayer when uh, they have live shield. Oh great! <laughs> they still learn. They still. They never learn, do they? Let's see. Are there any more? I think I better go check. you are. I've been looking all over for you. Oh, That's about it. satellite dish. If I remember correctly. Nope. Oh yeah, I have to use him. Isn't it weird how to use a dead body to gain access to all sorts of things like this satellite dish? I'm blocking your access to the facility scanner. Come to the Vega terminal and I'll give you what you need. Looks like we have to go to the Vega Tunnel as instructed by Dr. Samuel Hayden. Now, how do I get out of here? Oh, I think I need to go. Well, at least they didn't fight each other this time, like in the Nightmare Imp in Doom 64. Whoa, that was close. Hey, I can still see the stars in space. Mind you, if only Mars can provide life on it, just like we have on Earth. Well, there's some armor over there, which is very handy. Bear with me. Ah. Oh, uh, now, oh no. You guys are. Oh, what? The one with the white shield? That's what caught me out there with them guys in the way. Oh, that nearly worked. Yeah, that's how you do. That's how you do it. Attacking right shield enemies like him. You go behind their back and shoot him in the back. Ah, 
finally. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah. Well, that takes care of him. Go again. Yep, that's how it's done. You can use that in Call of Duty if you want to. If you have right shields and you're fighting against your friends. Okay, which way am I gonna go? Am I gonna go this way or this way? Hello. Ah. Oh. Why wow, come I didn't see this before? Am I going the right way or...? Okay, let's just check through there first. Okay, let's see what we got here. Ah, yeah. Got more ammo as we need it. Oh, great! Another one. The light shield possessed. Well, at least he's not going to shoot me while after I've opened up the door. That insert caused a problem for me. Nope, nothing up there. Or there. Oops, nearly fell down there for a sec. Ah, oh, that's the bigger terminal. It's a gift. Oh, take it. It will give you strength. Is that help you on your journey if you can withstand the power surge? That looks like the eye of Sauron to me. You know, that sphere with the little line. Ah, it's like Sauron. It's like Sauron's eye form. From the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit. Oh, it, it, that increases your health and armor and ammo. I think it helps kind of. We'll find them throughout this entire game, really. I'll get the that is pure Argent energy you've just taken into your system. It seems to agree with you. Hm. I will unlock the remaining Argent cells within the facility for you. Vega, give him what he wants. 61,337 UAC members deceased. 81% of the facility is on lockdown. Demonic presence through the Mars installation is critical. According to the records, Dr. Hayden, the invasion originated in the Lazarus facility. It seems that a hell wave was activated, transforming 64% of all UAC employees into the creatures you see roaming throughout the facility. The rest were killed by the demons released from their holding cells by Olivia Pierce. I feel I should apologize for what's happened here. Some of my employees took things too far. Olivia was the cause of all this. And I believe you will have to deal with her in time. 
You may not agree with our research, but know this. We exploited hell and its resources because it was in mankind's best interest to do so. What you now see in this facility is the cost of progress. Huh. But none of that matters now. There is an emergency in the foundry. Hello? The regulators have been destroyed and the core temperatures are now destabilizing. They've overrun the adjacent facility. If the venting turbines aren't re-engaged, neither of us will survive the meltdown. Oh yeah, let's find out what's causing these hours. Let's see, uh, I think I know where I need to go. Oh yeah. I mean, before I go any further, I better go check. Nope, can't go through there. Nothing interesting in here, but I'm gonna have to. Ooh. Okay, I'll have to save again, as always. And as far as you know, I'm gonna have to cut off right here again. But don't worry, I will continue on with this next time. Let's see where we are, Corruptor. Oh yeah, we're now into Foundry, which is another level we're gonna tackle. Like I said, this is where I'm gonna have to... I'll show you a quick sneak peek again. Of what it looks like. Here we are. This is like the it's like a third level of the game. And now like I said, I'm gonna have to cut up right here and I will continue on with this next time. And so until then, bye!